the Bible said that two thirds of y'all gonna perish anyway. So all this killing in Memphis and uh, 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 New Orleans and Miami and LA, that's all y'all insubordinate employees and service of God getting wiped out. So if somebody getting wiped out that you know, they probably won't bout shit. Hey yo, baby D. Get your little ass over here on the mic, man. Show these other little niggas they can't fuck with the dangerous crew, man. Spit that shit. Shit on gold, gold, shine, gold, glasses, prime time like Dion. Hey, can't do the corn, do the Dion. You hear me? He don't speak on me, I don't compete with a peon. Fly in a bundle like my name was Dion. It's a problem that must be addressed. Businesses, families, children, all impacted by the crime plaguing the city. How did we get here? Are the systems working? And what's the best path forward? Memphis 911, fire or This is an epidemic. This is a virus. This is a social disease. Not the crime. That day's on call. I've treated nine patients. A city. Why? Why did you take my son from us? In crisis. You can't operate a business here if you're in fear of staying in business. I really feel violated. You work hard, and people take things that you work hard for. Crime continues to hurt Memphis. We hear our citizens loud and clear. They want to see action. In 2023, major property crime increased more than 17% in Memphis, driven by thousands of vehicles stolen, leaving their owners without reliable transportation, some losing their jobs because of it. What, what are they going to do to stop it? You know, because not only is my car gone, like I have several friends that their car is gone. Car break-ins, another problem with a ripple effect. Thousands of guns continue to be stolen out of cars. And now police say they're seeing the most guns ever on the streets. Our officers are going out there every day knowing that they're going to encounter armed people. Major violent crime increased 7% in 2023 compared to the year before. Robberies up 20%. Homicides skyrocketed, breaking a record. Le Bonner Children's Hospital reported a record-breaking year for juveniles being shot. Ten of them left paralyzed because of it. Terrible. It actually, it's what keeps me up at night, having to see these children suffer after they've been paralyzed. And we expect this teenager who's paralyzed to um, go back to school and be happy and be part of society. It has Memphis Shelby County Schools begging for a ceasefire. Since August 2022 through mid-January, they say more than 20 students were lost to violence. It's not normal to go sit and cry with a parent at the hospital. For months, WREG investigators have uncovered and poured through the data, police reports, court records. We talked to victims and our top crime fighters to figure out how we got here and how do we find the best path forward. There's so many tools out there and there's so many plans that have been shown to work across the country, we're just not doing it. What is happening? Fingers are being pointed. You get a lot of the blame. Yes, that is definitely true. That is definitely uh, one unpleasant part of this job. As many question whether the systems and laws are working. There has to be a balance. And right now, a lot of people are of the opinion that balance is way out of whack. Over the past two years, the city of Jackson's homicide rate has ranked as one of the nation's highest per capita. And 2024 is already off to a violent start, with 12 homicides in January, along with blatant drive-by shootings on busy streets in broad daylight. The good news. sitting here trying to preach to all these doggone gang bangers and criminals and people that want to do all the things that break the, the commandments and the laws and statutes that God had put forth for us to redeem ourselves when in actuality all of them aren't supposed to be saved all of them we're not supposed to reach 
So should we even be trying to reach these people and save their lives? Maybe some of them, because you're supposed to be a fisher of men, I believe. But um, I, I had started low-key getting discouraged, man, when I kept on seeing the violence happen. I'm like, why do, why do I keep on making these videos if it seems like we're, we're getting nowhere? We're not making any progress on anything. So I started getting discouraged. You feel me? Like, I'm finna quit YouTube and everything because I'm not about to be trying to reach people, man, and I'm just falling on deaf ears. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, I had started getting ready to fucking leave YouTube alone, man, and just worry about my own life and my people around me, my kids and stuff. And then uh, I was watching a video this morning, man, and a young lady threw a scripture out there. It was uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it said that the Lord said that all throughout the earth, two-thirds will be killed off. They will perish. They will be cut off and die. And one-third will be left. And then those one-third that will be left, they will be uh, refined like silver and then tested like gold. So they will be shaped into what God needs them to be. It's, it's only going to be one third of us left. So all these little gang bangers and criminals and, you know, people that don't want to listen. They so damn hard-headed. They keep on going over there listening to NBA Youngboy. There's no reason why a man that made a video called I Shot Him in the Head should get a million views in one day. That just goes to show you right there. That the, the grip that the devil, the music industry, puppet master, and then he's tied to somebody that's a puppet master of him. There's no reason why that puppet master lineage should have that much pull to where they can get a million people in, in one day. That shows you the type of influence that the devil has on the, on the current world right now. So maybe those are the two-thirds that just need to die off. All those people killing up there in Memphis, maybe they need to die off. Maybe we need to stop crying on these platforms for these people. I'm not fucking crying about them no more. I'm going to keep on speaking to the people that I'm supposed to speak to. The one-third, whatever that number is, if God see fit for my message to hit one of those people to, of the one-third, then so be it. But I am no longer going to feel bad when I turn on WREG News, WLOX News, um, KTLA, um, the news station over here in, uh, in New Orleans. I am no longer going to feel bad when I see these little gangbangers and these criminals getting their damn top knocked off. And I don't care about your mama on the news crying. It is what it is. She should have sent your ass to fucking Ireland or some shit when she had the chance. Or slapped you across your head when she seen you walking out the house with your pants hanging off your butt. And didn't have a job but some kind of way. You keep on popping up with fucking Michael Jordans and Balenciagas and shit. She should have slapped your ass across the face then. And because she did, and she just turned the other cheek. And look the other way, I'm not going to feel sorry for that shit. All y'all kids that don't want to listen to your parents when they trying to tell you something righteous and trying to get your life straight, I'm not crying for your ass if you get locked up or you're part of this two-thirds that perish and die. You just part of the people that had to get wiped out because you didn't want to listen. Just like in Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm going to keep my face going forward out of the city. I'm fleeing the city. I'm leaving her. Fleeing from her. And I'm not turning around. So, if you ain't walking this way, good riddings, mother. I'll read about you and see you on the news. Zechariah 13 and 8. Two-thirds of them will perish. So all you little gang gang dope selling motherfuckers that rapping all this shit. I'll probably see you on the news soon. 100.